How do you go from command mode to insert mode, but not after the character, before the character? Well, for that, we're gonna use I. Hey, welcome back to another video in this series on Vim Alphabet, where we cover uh, Vim A to Z. Today, we're talking about I. I is the second insert command that we are going to learn. Uh, the first one was A for append. Now append uh, inserts directly after the character that you're on, and the capital A uh, would go at the end of the line. Um, but as you're noticing, there are kind of these converse commands where you can do something one way, but then also there's another one, do it the other way. Um, and I is the other way of inserting from A. So you can insert onto the other side of the character or at the front of the line. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, let's open our quick brown file. I and mean, just as a recap with A, if I hit A, I would enter in insert mode uh, as evidenced by this. And insert mode is the mode that we can type in. Um, but I'm inserted after the character. So we're appending. Um, now with I, I is also an insert um, command. And if I hit I, it's going to, uh, again, put me into insert mode where I can start typing. But now it puts me before the character under the cursor. That's the big difference there. Now, if I am further along and I want to um, insert myself at the beginning of the line, the, the first character of the line, I can hit capital I and um, start typing there. So it's pretty simple. If you want to, you can go help I and see all of the variations of this, um, including the options that you have in terms of doing something count number of times. And since this is a short one, I might as well just illustrate that for you. So if I do um, three I, it's going to enter insert mode at the beginning of the line. So beginning. Now, as soon as I hit escape to get out of that, because I hit three, it's going to repeat what I did three times. So it'll go beginning, beginning, beginning. I don't exactly know why that's useful, but you can do it. So that's awesome. Uh, anyway, that's it. So that is I. I hope that you, uh, you know, have been wondering and this satisfies your curiosity. Um, tomorrow, we're going to jump ahead because we did H, J, K, and L already. And tomorrow we'll be doing M, which is um, a little bit of a weird one. I'm going to give you a heads up. It's a little bit of a weird one. Um, as a beginner, it might not be something that you uh, use a lot yet.